For the translation to be correctly formatted, the user must assign these markup IDs to the corresponding strings of text in the target segment. There are several ways of doing this. Some translators, for example, might find it easy to replace the source text with their translation and then enter the text affected by, so, by the markup within the markup borders, like this, for example. Okay, this would be one way. However, that's not the most efficient way to do it. What if what uh, what if what my next segment uh, is is empty, like in the way I work? What if it's empty? What if the order of markups in the target is different from the source? The way we recommend is to apply the markup by means of the keyboard shortcut Control plus the ID number. For example, in segment 3026. I can translate the segment <coughs> and then select the part that takes markup, modo avion, and press Ctrl 2 because that's the number of the, the ID number of the markup that I need to apply. So I press Ctrl 2, followed by pressing, say, the right words arrow or any other movement key. So I'll do it again. I'll undo this with Ctrl Z. I select the text, I do Ctrl 2, and then arrow. And it tells me, when I confirm, it tells me that there is a, a missing s space at the end of the segment. So yes, and check. Yes, now it's OK. Confirm. Okay, uh, so let's carry on. I am now going to translate segment 3027, but now instead of entering the text first and then applying the markup, I'm going to proceed the other way around. If I now press Ctrl 3 and start typing, the text will have the correct markup. To carry on typing without the markup, I need to jump the markup ending border with the right words arrow, just like that. I can now keep translating. Okay, and I now I must notice that there is a final markup at the end which must be applied in the same way to the dot. So I press Ctrl 4 and that's it. I confirm the segment and carry on. What if the order of markup in the target segment must be different from the source? Let's see how one must translate segment 3033. Now, I need to. Uh, the translation of checkbox comes before the translation of airplane mode. So I insert the, the, the markup for uh, check mo uh, checkbox, casilla de verification, that's Ctrl 2, and start typing. Casilla de verificación, arrow, and now I enter the markup for airplane mode, that is Ctrl 1. and finish translating. Easy, isn't it? So that's basically it. Um, just remember the, the shortcut, which is Control plus the ID number, and then um, move sidewards with the arrow key.